This is a screencast showing you how to add a calendar event in iSAMS. In the wizard bar you will see there is a section called news and events. If you wish to add an event then you click on add event. There's an option to add an event one by one or multiple events. Let's just look at single events first. So I click next step. I choose the date. I can click on this calendar to choose the date. So I'm going to choose tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to select this event is all day and I'm going to put test event. Now I'm going to select a category that it goes into. So I'm going to choose curriculum for example. There could be a, let's say it's English and a location. If I wait a moment, then all of the rooms will appear in here. So maybe I just want to start typing one of the rooms. There is CAN 203. I don't have to put a room. I could put some notes in there if I wish to expand on what the description is. And now here I can choose the calendar. By default, all of them are selected. I can if I want, let's say if I, I want uh, something that's in key stage 3, I can select by using my mouse just highlighting those, so that will be year 7, 8 and 9. Um, this option is if I am an, an author, if I can authorize the event then I can click on this, but at the moment you probably won't see that if you're not, uh, uh, if you don't have the ability to authorize the calendar. Again, this event is hidden or will not appear, and this one is if it's probably after the event or after the day. Next step, and what happens now is that that has sent that request off to be authorized either by Jackie or Deborah. So I'm going to click finish. That was a, a single event. Perhaps I want to add more than one event so I'm going to go a recurring event and when you add recurring event you get again start date so I'm going to choose tomorrow and I'm going to actually have it as all day let's put test again select a category maybe internal exam no location just leave it blank and I'm going to choose the calendars that that goes in. So I'm going to choose perhaps uh, year foundation stage. Let's do key stage one. Um, and year one is also in key stage one. I don't want it to be in the primary calendar or the secondary calendar or the staff calendar. So now I have foundation stage and year one. Again, these were the same check boxes as before. Now when I click next, it's now going to ask me how often do I want to repeat that event. So if this was a residential, for example, then I would say I would want that event to be in there five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I would probably click here and then choose the fact that this event will end on Monday. And when you click next, you'll see then there's a screen here just to test, just to make sure that this is going to occur every day from the 21st to the 24th, and it will appear in these calendars. Bearing in mind that it's not been authorized yet, this will have to be authorized by the people that authorize the calendar. Click create, and you can see it's just um, confirming that those are the four days that I've selected for that event to occur. I hope that was useful.